Hi and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Rima Sozu with BlueFX.net. Today we'll take a look at how to set up After Effects for maximum performance and optimal render speed. Stay with me till the end of this video because we'll be also be giving away a render preset which will enable you to render your projects and videos in a YouTube friendly format. So let's jump into After Effects and we'll choose Edit Preferences. We'll go to the display section and the first option you need to have selected is Hardware Accelerate Composition, Layer and Footage Panels. Make sure you have this checked. Just one quick thing to keep in mind regarding this option. If AE is open and your computer goes into sleep mode, the hardware feature will turn off automatically and you will receive an error that looks like this. To fix it, just restart After Effects and enable the feature again. Ok, so let's move on to Media and Disk Cache. Now, assuming you are using an A version which is newer than CS6, you will want to have this value as high as possible. We recommend setting it up to 50 GB. Also, for best performance, choose a different hard drive than the one A is installed on and if possible, use an SSD drive. Now let's move on to memory and multiprocessing. After Effects shares a pool of memory with other Adobe products such as Premiere Pro, Prelude, Adobe Media Encoder and Photoshop. After Effects needs to have enough memory allocated to work correctly, but you also need to have RAM reserved for other applications, otherwise they will end up fighting over the available memory. In this case I have a total of 8GB and I reserved 1.5 gigabytes of RAM for the operating system and other apps. Now let's take a look at a cool feature which is available for AECS 6 and above, which is called Cache Work Area in the Background. So what you can do is, once finished editing a composition, go to Composition, Cache Work Area in the Background. A blue line will show up and After Effects will begin to render that segment in the background. To fetch the background render, you need to press the spacebar. This feature works with multiple compositions as well. So let's move on to rendering. If you choose to render inside After Effects, you can press caps lock while rendering and this will turn off the live preview making the process much faster. Also, before rendering, consider freeing up the memory by going to edit, purge, all memory. Now when it comes to media encoder, there is a quick setting you can do to improve the render speed. So we'll choose edit, Preferences and make sure you uncheck Preview while encoding. So that's our final tip. Please click the link below this video to get the render preset and let me show you real quick how it works. Just click on the Import button, choose the preset and then drag and drop it on your composition. It will render in Full HD in a YouTube-friendly format and encoding. Ok, so that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website at blurfx.net and if you want to learn more about rendering and After Effects, check out our AE Academy. We provide training from beginner level to advanced and we have weekly live classes with an Adobe certified top instructor. Thanks for watching, I'm Rima Soso and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstag, an Adobe Certified Expert and the Lead Instructor here at BlueFX.net. If you want to watch more After Effects lessons, as well as live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the BlueFX After Effects Academy. 
Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.